a lot last night about Garrett, uh, not only what he's going to do for us on the field, but also what he brings to us um, off the field as well. The leadership, the passion for the game, the intelligence, everything we look for in how we've built this uh, roster over the past couple of years. Uh, his father, Tim, came in with him today as well. Um, and uh, look forward and hold Garrett. We haven't had a lot of conversation with him at, at all since probably my time with him at the Senior Bowl. And we had him in at the Combine and interviewed him and we had a few quick chats here or there, but nothing. But I knew once we got through the Combine um, that he was the type of player we wanted. And then as we went into our draft meetings the last couple of weeks, uh, when everybody came together, the coaches, the scouts, uh, Coach Zim, myself, and read our reports on him. There was no question uh, that we got a heck of a football player. So with that, I'll bring up Coach Zim. Okay, like we, like you said last night, you know we're very very excited about having uh, Garrett here. Um, you know, as far as the zone scheme uh, running style that we're going to use. Um, I know that you probably saw a lot of highlights of him being able to reach three techniques and cut off nose tackles and, and all those things, trying to create separation and seams down the field. He's a very good athlete, great balance, um, probably more importantly, a great person. So uh, we're excited to have him here and uh, Eric Bradbury. It's kind of been a crazy 24 hours. Um, I'm just super thankful for everyone here, um, the Wolf family, the Wolf family, Coach. Um, every, I mean, it's just. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, Wait till next week to start moving things. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been awesome. I mean, hearing hearing more about the history of this great organization, um, the culture that it has here. Uh, I just can't wait to get to play football again. Really, um, it's been a lot of. Four months, there's been a lot of steps in this process. Um, not a lot of football, though. Uh, so I'm just I'm excited to get on the field, meet my new teammates, um, and get to work with them. So We uh, just, just talked to your college coach, and he said he thought you made a big jump once they moved you to center. What, what was it about that move that allowed you to kind of become the player that, that you are? Uh, I, I think it's just um, for our room, it was a good fit. I felt really comfortable. Um, from a communication standpoint, I really knew the offense well, and um, the guys I played next to trusted me uh, with that responsibility. And so, just all five of us um, played really well together. It just it worked really well for us. We ran the ball really well and protected the quarterback. You also mentioned that before you left tight end position, before you got to the offensive line, leaving the tight end position, you had a stop on the defensive line. Where did you play, and, and what did you take from that experience? Yeah, so it was, it was about eight months. Um, at the bowl game, my redshirt year, coach was like, hey, there's going to be injuries. There's going to be graduating players. Um, we kind of need some defensive line. I played in high school. I was like, sure. Um, and Ryan Nielsen was the coach, uh, who's one of the greatest coaches I've ever been around. Um, and he really straightened me out in terms of where my focus needed to be. And so I spent basically January to August um, with them. And we had a great defensive line, um, four guys drafted last year. And so working with them, competing with them in the weight room and conditioning. Um, I got a lot better um, on and off the field. And so I didn't play defensive line, but those eight months were pivotal in, in my career and, and the player I am now. Um, and then day one of training camp, Coach Dorn called me in his office and said, hey, we're now moving to the line. Um, so that was kind of how that happened. Gary, what did you uh, know about the Vikings history and culture? Before you were drafted by them, and what have you learned now in the last 18 hours about yeah. Vikings history and all that? Learned, learned a lot more. Um, can't wait to continue to learn more just about how much history it has, how many former great players there are, current great players, um, and just looking forward to winning, winning ball games. You know, so. A center has to be a leader on the offensive line. Uh, how comfortable would you be in that role as a rookie? I mean, you got to earn the guy's respect first. No one's going to listen to a rookie coming in, barking. Barking orders, trying to lead anyone. Um, so I'm just going to come in and work. Um, that's what I've always done. Whether I was a freshman or a senior, or now I'm going to be a rookie. I'm just going to come in and work, earn the guys' respect, and compete. Um, and just figure out my role and, and maximize it to the best of my ability. Garrett, you mentioned it by name last night, but what kind of impact did Dwayne Ledford have on your development? And what was your relationship with him? Huge. I mean, it was, I love, love Coach Ledford. 
he was awesome, great mentor, played in the league for about six, seven years. And so he taught me so much about what I needed to do preparation-wise on and off the field. Um, he knows the game better than a lot of people out there. Um, knows the wide zone system, which is what we ran. And I mean, I think we were the best in the country at wide zone, in my opinion, because of him. Um, how he coached it, uh, how he coached us to protect the quarterback. Um, we just, we, he brought a new level of pride to that position room that I don't, I don't think was there at NC State before. Um, and I think as you see more guys coming out, um, getting drafted on the offensive line for NC State, I mean, he's definitely helped change that program. So you had, there were, I think, four ACC defensive linemen drafted in the first round last night. Mm -hmm. Before you, what kind of a, a preparatory test, I guess, is that when you're facing that level of competition in that conference to get ready for the NFL? Uh, it's all, are you talking about our defensive line? Oh, facing those guys in the ACC, like guys from Clemson. Oh, and just Rutgers, ACC. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, you want to go against the best. You want to go against the biggest guys. Um, I mean, that's a strength competitor. Uh, wants to show what he's got against everyone. So got some good competition. Had the best competition, in my opinion, against our own defensive line, which I love the most. Uh, I think that's where we got a lot better as an O-line, going against our D-line, where we had those four guys drafted. And so had some great battles with them over the years, and now looking forward to having some battles at this level with them. So, How do you feel like your athleticism contributed to you being such a team player? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, we do a lot of work with technique, and um, our strength staff does a phenomenal job uh, in terms of strength and speed. And just a lot of coaches help, help me get where I am in our offensive line. So, What would you say your biggest strength is? Is it your strength, your smarts, or uh, your technique? Choose one of those three? Or? Well, which way you want <laughs> I just I feel like I'm a competitor. I'm a football player. Um, I love to play the game. I think you see that when you watch the film. Um, and I found a home in offensive line. I love everything about the position, um, playing next to other guys, trusting them. Um, just, I don't know, I think being a competitor, really. The college coach said that being a coach is something that you might aspire to do at some point. Where did that come from, the inspiration behind that? So the summer after my the 2016 season, I got an internship. Yeah. Um, with Lenovo, thinking I was going to go into supply chain and business, and um, good internship, did did pretty well, and left that summer like um, I got to stay around football minded people um, the rest of my life. I mean, nothing against them. I just I think my calling is, is through sports, through um, football specifically, and so from then I was like, I'm I'm going to make it in the NFL, and then after that, or if that doesn't work out for some reason, I'm going to coach. Um, I just love being around. Locker room, being around football, football guys. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of my decision I made and I'm running with it. So. You talked about having to come in and try to get the respect of the veterans. What kind of things do you need to do to do that? And what did you do successfully to get everybody's respect when you kind of came in uh, at NC State and then took over at Sun? I mean, I think you just, you just need to keep your mouth shut and go to work. Show those guys um, why you're there. Uh, and just, I mean, I think the respect will come. You just gotta, you gotta earn it through the way you work. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That's just that's gonna come with time. So, looking forward to it. Baseball was your first love. I read that uh, you wanted to be the, dream of being the shortstop for the Yankees. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been cool. But I think I'd rather be no line with the Vikings. <laughs> pretty good baseball player. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. What position? Uh, catcher. Jared, after all those uh, position switches, was there a point in your junior or senior year when? center kind of finally felt like a natural spot? Uh, I think offensive line started to feel like a natural spot. Uh, I think the, my biggest attraction to it was you don't come off the field. And that's what I was used to in high school, playing uh, offense and defense. And a tight end might have gotten 20 snaps a game at the most with their different packages. Um, but I just, I don't want to come off the field. I love to play football. And wherever that is on the offensive line, I don't care. I just know that we don't rotate. Um, it's something we pride ourselves in. And so I think just more comfort at that position in front of home there. So. How long did it take you to? so durable throughout your entire career. How have you been able to do that, to be able to stay on the field? Right? Yeah, I think, I think prehab and the things you do off the field is huge um, in terms of taking care of your body and diet. That's something I've taken a lot more seriously this, this past year. Um, understanding like what you put in your body, the things you're doing, um, extracurricular, um, or extra stretching and correctives. Something that we've taken at NC State just um, put a lot of importance in, and I think my body has, has thanked me for it, and I think 
That's the big reason why durability has been, been good. So. How long did what has it been like having your family a part of this process, whether it was being with them last night or having your dad here today? Just what does that mean to you? It's everything. Um, this is their day as much as it is mine. Um, they've done everything for me my whole life, helped me get where I am. Uh, and there's no one else I'd rather share it with uh, than friends and family that I was with last night and obviously my dad being here today. So. Here, we look at this office. <coughs> what excites you about joining this group? Yeah, everything. I mean, talking to the coaches today, learning about the system. Can't wait to get in the playbook, learn the installs. Um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Garrett, after last night walking around this facility today, has it sunk in yet? Has it hit you that the moment is No, no. I mean, these. It still is. I mean, it's, I'm just trying to soak it all in. Um, touring the facilities today was unbelievable. This place is absolutely unbelievable. It's awesome. I can't wait to spend as much time here. Um, it's just, I love our facility in NC State. We spent a lot of time there. I can't wait to do the same here. I mean, this, this place is unbelievable. It's awesome. How long does it take you to really become comfortable with, with the techniques, given all the different position switches you made? Uh, how long did it take? Uh, I mean, it just comes with time. I think my biggest step was about two years ago when um, I started to take practice way more seriously. Um, I mean, you just, at offensive line, you have to get full speed reps. Um, and a, a, a saying that we had um, was game day is just reflection of habits. And so um, you weren't going to do anything on Saturdays that you hadn't done before in practice. And so I think as an offensive line, we took Started to take practice really seriously. Um, Coach Leifer was big in that, and just uh, working hard. I mean, that's, that's what it boils down to. Here, can you just kind of describe what that moment was like getting the call last night from you know knowing it was the Vikings and knowing where you were going to be drafted? Just kind of what that moment was like. Yeah, I, I couldn't really tell you. Um, there was a lot of emotions. It was it was unbelievable. Uh, the phone rang and it just kind of blanked out. Um, from there on, uh, heart was pounding. It just so much hard work, so many people that invested in me. Um, and truly a dream come true. I'm I, I, kind of speechless. So. Time for two more for Garrett. Yeah, you're a pretty good student in the classroom too. Yeah. Great yeah. point, what's the major? How well do you do in, in the class? So GPA great. and that sort of thing, what major? Uh, business supply chain was my major. Um, I had a 3.6 and just got a graduate, graduate certificate in uh, youth development. Garrett, what does it mean when you hear um, Coach Zimmer and Rick talking about obviously your on-field performance, but then how much they appreciate your character and your, and your off-field performance as well? Yeah, I mean, you love to hear that an organization appreciates that. Um, that's huge. And I think it's just, I think it's a testament to my parents. I think it's a testament to the mentors I've had in my life to help me become the man, man I am today. But it's huge. When you come to a place and culture and characters preached. I mean, that, that goes a long way. Um, and so I'm super, couldn't be more excited to be a part of the organization <coughs> that I just have, so. All right.